Hello and welcome to the Gran Turismo Sport beta test. Now, I'm going to be going through this with you guys today because I know a lot of you will be interested in Gran Turismo Sport because I said and I hyped it up to a lot of you guys at home saying that this beta looks freaking amazing. Actually progressing through a proper racing storyline. It's not really a storyline, but progression that is online. You're racing actual people. The progression itself is racing other people, not driver tars, actual people. So, I'm interested. We're going to get into it. Thank you for taking part in the Grand Turismo Close Sport. Your driver rating and sportsmanship rating will change as you play in sport mode. The daily workouts, workout, workouts. We're gonna, we're gonna do some. I, I'm not ready for that. The daily workouts give you a goal to aim for each day. Reach these goals to win new cars as prizes. I'm interested about that. I don't want to win all cars. I want to buy some. I mean, the beta might be a little bit different, but anyway. Uh, three, uh, your three gift cars. Three categories of cars available in the beta test. You'll be given one car from each category as a gift. Thank you very much. Is this random? I don't know. But we just got an Evo. Boy, I'm okay with the Evo. I love myself an Evo. What else have we got? Oh, my was this game made for me? You're giving me an SLS? They just, this game was made for me. And a BMW. All right, no. I think, honestly, those cars that were just particularly like, chosen just to, just to give you. But honestly, beautiful whips right there. Stunning. SLS AMG. Beautiful. Lancer Evo. Final edition. Oh, it's the final edition and the M6 GT3. Honestly, the M6 GT3 is cool. Those are some nice cars to start with. But as for the full game, I hope we start in like a little crappy course like we did in the last ones. Now this... Oh my god, there's too, there's too much on the screen. Now, okay. These actual background screenshots, I believe these are, you can actually, like, the photo mode, you can place your car in these screenshots and take, like, pictures. I think it looks freaking awesome. So, options button, this menu is displayed when you have the options on your controller. Uh, current car, game notifications, functions menu, the home screen features, access. there's a lot. And then modes menu. Okay, I got everything, I got everything. Let's go to the options. So, I want to look around a little bit. That's what this most of the video, I think, most of this video is going to be. Going and messing around with everything. And I love settings. So I'm going to look through them. In the menus over here, so we have the Lancer Evolution Final Edition. Now, this is the car that I'll probably hopefully get to use for the first race because that would be awesome. But at the top here, you can see there's different modes. Road, Dirt, and Drift. What? Yeah, there's actually going to be different settings. So you can actually set preset settings for each type of setup. So you can change the traction control down, for example. Change the tires that we use. Change the power ratio. Change the suspension. Aerodynamics. Gear ratios, trans uh, the transmission, drivetrain, everything can be changed in here. Proper Gran Turismo style. And then you can switch back. RCF in the background is my baby. I love that thing. Let's jump into sport mode then. So driver rating. This is basically how fast you are. All right. So the classifier is E, D, C, B, A, and S in ascending order. So E is the, the lowest class and S is the best. Driver rating will increase uh, when your driver performs well in races, so when I perform well in races, unless you can assign them to races like you used to. If you drive off the track, we'll lower it. Collisions with other cars will lower it. That's awesome. That's cool. It's something that actually worked. Uh, that actually well, it didn't work. It was something that was in Grid Autosport, but it didn't work very well at all. Like you would, la someone would lag into you and you'd get shot in the face for it. Hopefully, this is a little bit better. In daily races, you will be matched against drivers near your own skill level. Race your DR and SR by participating in these daily challenges. This is what I was talking about. Race A, B, C, R, that's on the Nordschleifer. I don't really particularly want to do that. So there's 18 cars and the entry duration, 20 minutes for all of them. You can see it really like, reminds you a little bit of Drive Club. That's what I'm getting from the vibes from the Drive Club. Now, that challenge actually was to do what? Oh, you know, we're going to do this first try. We're going to do the first one. I was I was going to look at maybe doing the thing, but whatever. Uh, until until entry period starts, we've got another six hours. Of course, now we have downside number one of having a service like this. These three races, I can't join in. I can't join in because they start, as you can see, at 6, 7, 8 p.m., which I can't, I can't do right now because it's... Oh, it's 11.35 a.m. So I can't do those right now. But what I can do is actually do the qualifying. So you can actually qualify. Well, you have to qualify, obviously, to get into these events. As I said, I want to do a proper, like, full-on racing video where I use the wheel setup and everything. If you guys want to see that, be sure to leave a like on this video to let me know down in the comments. And I'll look at doing a video very, very, very soon with the whole setup, wheel cam, everything. It's going to show you 
me racing. Trying to race properly, hopefully getting advice and not comments saying, you're just shit, because I know. That's why I want to do it properly. New game, I've got to get used to how everything is going to be set up on here. But the what I've got essentially right now, the only thing I've changed is put manual transmission on. I can't change the tires right now. Traction control is currently on on three. Not exactly sure what they mean by active steering. I'm going to find out. Maybe it's something to do with a controller assist. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, driving assist, they actually had brake assist on by default. No, I don't want that. And that's pretty much all I've done so far. On the previous Grand Turismo games, I also changed the controller steering sensitivity. But again, that's something I'm going to have to ease into and get used to. But I'm freaking excited for a brand new fresh start on Gran Turismo. It just feels so awesome. The beautiful backdrop here. What am I? Why am I still just get on with it? Here we go. Auto drive enabled. Let's get this qualifier done. Now, I forgot the I don't know the buttons. X is to change up a gear. I think. Brilliant. As I said, this is definitely not going to be me properly trying. Want to get used to the controls, want to get used to... Maybe I'll probably change the controls, honestly. I kind of want to change it so it's similar to Forza up and down gear, which I think is basically equivalent to square and circle. I can't remember. Exactly. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, that one is already square. X is up. That's That needs to change, all right? I need to change that. I'm going to write down to change that. The car wobbles quite a lot, and I like that. You actually feel a little bit of the weight of the car. Like, previous Grand Turismo games, I never really felt the, a massive amount of weight with the cars. When I felt I was driving a heavier car... I didn't feel like I was driving a heavier car all the time. And that is way too quick. I've gone off. That traction control is really not good. It does actually feel weird. There's, there's no racing line on by default. And maybe that's just to kind of make it a bit more competitive. Even if you kind of don't. Uh, even if you're not that great. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that great. I'm not going to get put into one of the higher classes. I'm going to put in probably the, one of the lowest bloody classes. Especially with this bloody lap. Because I've gone off like three, four times. All right, it's like twice, but still. It'll also be so much better once I actually get the wheel set up and I start using that properly. But that was a 152. <laughs> that was possibly the most awful lap you've probably ever seen on this track ever. But that's okay. That You see that traction control? That's I don't like that. I really don't like that. That's going to have to come off. I mean... To some extent, I'm probably going to keep it on to some extent just for when racing. But then again, I only keep traction control on on games when I when I actually kind of need to, when it's a stupidly powerful car. Normally, I just keep it off. I know in Forza, it's a little bit different. Forza feels... I would honestly, just without trying to be like spiteful or anything, because I, I like them both as they are, like handling-wise. But Gran Turismo has always been more of the, like the sim for me. And, and Forza has been less of the sim, if you know what I mean. What we need to do is quit. <laughs> we need to quit. Oh, I've got three miles and I unlock a new car. Uh, three miles. <laughs> what I need to do is change some settings. Traction control is on three out of five. So that's quite high, actually. We're going to bring it down to one. I'll bring it down to one. See how it is. If it, you know, Honestly, I'll turn it completely off. Turn it completely off and then see if I actually need to put it back on. That's probably the best way to do it. Can't change the tires on this event. But I think, honestly, that's... Should pretty much do. Oh, it's got a bit, it's got a lot more give now. You could feel that understeer happen. We don't need traction control, especially on an Evo. This all-wheel drive stock. It's stock all-wheel drive. This thing's not going to go anywhere. It's going to grip like, I, I don't even know what, but we need to shift down. Let's see how we do on this corner. So much better, even though we are absolutely overshot our corner to all hell. Like, Speed-wise, too, too quickly. Mate, we still got it perfect. Turning track control off has made it a lot better straight away. I love the lighting in this game. This is actually only on... This is on the PS4 Pro, so this is the normal version, though, because actually there's no... Oh, no! I, I've messed the corner up again. Because currently there's actually no PS4 Pro supporters from what, from what I'm aware. And uh, there is HDR, though, which I really need to try on my telly. But it's a 4K telly, and it'll probably look like rubbish because it's a 1080p image on a 4K telly. Which, to be fair, doesn't look as bad as I thought, I thought it would when I first... Heard about 4K. Just eating this corner alive. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, this is the corner we're going to watch out for. This thing, I, it's it's just, it throws you off so much. It throws you off way too much, that corner. You need to slow down a lot more than you think. But as for the rest of it, easy. Easy. You can, oh, for... <gasps> we've, got a, we've got a long way to go, ladies and gents. One huge tip to give, actually. So, Gran Turismo has always been amazing at telling you what gear to be in in the corner. Like, it will not lie to you, generally, from what I found in, in, in the previous game. I've been playing a little bit of Gran Turismo 5 over the weekend with my little brother, which is actually a lot of fun. But even then, the corner, the t when it tells you to be in gear 3 on the corner, you go to gear 3, mister. 
No more, no less. Go for it. This is my first decent lap. First decent lap? I would say so. First decent lap. I think, like, the last time we got all, like, a 150. I don't I don't know why I shifted down there. I probably could have held it. Held it. Held it. Jesus. Never mind driving properly. i got to learn to speak properly as well. That's not too bad. That is much, obviously, it's better than, uh, much better than the last one, but... The 150 wasn't as bad as I actually uh, thought it was. <laughs> and obviously, in racing terms, like a second is very good. Very, very good. But for Theo time, when you get when you get high, it's like the 150s and you cut down to 140. That's not much difference. It's Theo time. I got best on all the like little checkpoint things. But I mean, it's the second lap. So hopefully it should be better. It should be a little bit faster. Oh, that was very much faster. 140, 141. 141. I'm going to go with that for now because I want to see if there's actually ability to try some of the other cars out because I want to try that SLS. That's for sure. Look at me. Beautiful. Probably the Japanese man under there. Too far off that driving marathon thing, which I'm actually definitely going to do. Sponsorship rating, yes. And there's my, uh, my driver rating, which obviously I can't get up because I just can't yet. I love the music. I'm just going to sit here. And appreciate the tunes. The tunes of Greek Gran Turismo. Let's go. Traction control on this one is going to go completely off. Now, this, I may actually need to put it on again. So, we'll have to see about that. Uh, can I change the tires on this? No, I'm not allowed to. Have to stick with those. But I'm ready. Let's give it a go. Oh, SLS time. Let's go. This sounds much better. Much, much better. And, oh, I don't need no traction control here today. That's right. Oh, got a bit of a slide out the corner there. This feels much better, much quicker. I forgot how slow the Evos can be. Oh, the sound has been improved. You have done me well. Oh my God, the wine, the wine. This, this, this is so much better. Sound-wise, graphically, you can definitely tell an improvement. And the, the actual handling on a controller, it actually works. Not that the previous game's handling didn't work on a controller, because it actually worked perfectly on a controller. But what I'm saying is, other games on the market had a little bit of trouble. This feels like a much faster track, but it's probably just due to the fact that I'm actually in a faster car. That's probably why. Oh, bit of tail out, even with that big meaty wang behind us. The speed is pulling. The speed is pulling. Oh, there you go. Pants is going race mode. I think the slight drum and bass in the background also helps. Which side do I need to be? This side. I need to go in that way. Oh, God damn it. Slow down a lot. There we go. Oh, oh, we got a skin on. This thing changes gears so quickly. It's beautiful. Listen to this. Oh, Jesus, slow down, slow down a bit. Yeah, careful. Now, this, I'm excited now. This has made me, this, this car has made me excited. This car has made me very excited for what I'm actually going to do with this series in building up and actually progressing in Gran Turismo Sport. Being a beast at actual racing. That needs to be a, a second gear for you. Second gear corner. Oh, it's holding, it's holding it. Don't need no traction control here, mate. Traction control? Who needs you? Never heard of it. Bugger off. Don't come back. Two minutes and nine seconds. Let's see how we do on the second lap. The second run. I think we're going to do much better. It says gear two. You mean for this corner, I should hope, because uh, I don't particularly... Oh! I could have put power on there, but I didn't. I was a bit... Of, I was a bit... Oh! Are you sure this isn't a drift one? <laughs> Are you sure? Break, break, break. And through the corner. Perfect Chamondo. I mean, I could have taken the angle better, but uh, for, for, for me, that was pretty damn good. I'm doing so well. Like, for me, this is fantastic. For me, I feel like I'm a beast right now. I, it's not even that much faster, but I don't care. I, I still feel like a beast. I've never actually got into like a simulation game properly, ever. And I, I think now I'm just at the point where I really, really, really want to get into one properly. Should have slammed on the handbrake, done a bit of a... Oh, Drifter! Done a little bit of a skid. SLS, SLS AMG. SL <laughs> bit of SLS skids for the kids on GT Sport Beta. Not many can say they've done... I mean, probably everyone's probably done it as far as played GT Sport, but not many people have played GT Sport. So I'm one of the first to say I could add skid for the skids for the kids. Oh, the backfire noises. I've gone into the... Oh my god, we've gone into the other camera view, so that's absolutely messed it up. Now, just 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 so you know, fellas, when it comes to actual racing on this game, I'm gonna have to be in first person or cockpit view the whole entire time. There is no other way I'm actually gonna do it. But we we shaved the second off. This time I'm not actually gonna try and race. What I'm gonna do 
Let's try and skid. It's not going to work out very well because it's a race car. <laughs> I'm a sunny baby. I've also got to remember that we actually unlock a special car soon. Come on. There we go. A bit of a slide went on there. Where's the smoke? There ain't no smoke. Where is it? It's like it's gone. It's gone. I mean, I, have, I haven't seen smoke in it so far. Maybe it's... Maybe I'm just not skidding enough. Give me smoke. Where's my smoke? I mean, there's no smoke texture right now. <laughs> we got a little bit. Jesus. Jesus. All right. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now 18 miles. You know, what? I'm gonna unlock it this video This is the replay of me trying the event as you can clearly see not not the sharpest one Not the not the quickest looking replay you've ever seen in your life But again, this, I have to show this feature a lot of people love this replay mode in Gran Turismo I've got to show the replay mode in Gran Turismo. So here you go. It actually looks stunning now Previously in Gran Turismo what they did is they brought it down to 30 FPS and applied filters I take it all back. They're not doing that anymore. On this replay, at least anyway, I don't know if they're going to change it. This is 60 FPS, just like the gameplay, and it's, it looks almost exactly like the game to me, in my view. So maybe it is. That's pretty cool. Sim Simmer! Oh, I got the keys to my Bimmer! That's what we're trying next, the Bimmer. Because we, we need to, obviously. It looks stunning. I, I don't normally like like anything above an M3, maybe M4, um, M4 obviously. Uh, past that, the, the M series or any cars past that are kind of like daddy's car. Daddy is very rich daddy, daddy's car. But this 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 looks fantastic. From what I played at the actual uh, beforehand, uh, uh, an event, I think it was Gamescom last year. It was so good to drive. It was so, so good to drive. Traction control, though, you're coming off. It's just it needs to be off. But we're on the North Life this is where we're going to get the thing easily. And this needs to be a perfect lap from the beginning because I am not doing this again. Am I scared? Yeah, a little bit. I'm very scared. I've never been able to do the Nürburgring properly. Ever. I'm going to be careful with this car because this car likes to uh, likes to do the little buppy whoopy. It likes to, uh, to, to try and kill me, that's for sure. But, Jesus, this thing's got a lot more power. This thing may be one of the cars in where you actually need to put on a little bit of traction control to handle at the best. I mean, you don't need to. It's still uh, tameable, tameable, if I can speak, tameable. The only problem is, I I'm not very good. I get into panic and full throttle out of the corner sometimes to kind of make up time, but I need to remember not to do that because if I do that, well, I'm, I'm just gonna mess up and not make up time. I make it, I make less time. See, I just did it there. But I mean, that was that was controlled. That was controlled and doable. Let's fly, fl fly through. I'm, as you can see, I'm really not taking the lines very well on the Nürburgring because uh, I don't know the Nürburgring. We're flying through. This thing is so fast. Where do I need to brake? I need to brake somewhere, right? I've got to brake here somewhere. Nope. Just keep going. Just keep pulling. Keep pulling. Here. There's where you're going to brake. Come on, please. Oh, the BMW's brakes are great. And I need the RCF, please. I say that because I really want to try this. on the. I will try the RCF on the Nürburgring for the beginning. And then actually see uh, on, on Gran Turismo and then actually maybe drive in real life because I'm gonna have many opportunities hopefully soon to actually yet yeah, oh, Jesus to actually uh, take my car to the Nurburgring because it's actually uh, doable you can just drive to the Nurburgring from here if you didn't know uh, and I could take my car so we need we need some practice on Gran Turismo no 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 it was going well it's all right though it's all right we can get a decent time I say decent me. I don't think the Nürburgring is a track I'll ever learn. There's, there's just too much. There's too much. Like, there's just too much going on. It's a small ass track. Like, it's not, it's not very big. It's like, it's like a three carriageway in the UK. Like, tiny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, there's, there isn't much room for mistakes. And especially when you throw other cars into the mix and you're battling out the whole time. For God's sake. Battling out the whole way, back and forth. I'm just gonna let him go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to smash my car. I'm just going to let him go. You go first, mate. I'm going to be behind very quickly after. I can never do this. I can never do it. I can never stay in. No. No, you fucking got me again, you cut. I can never get the carousel right. That's something I've always failed at. If I actually go faster than like five miles an hour, two miles an hour, I will spin out. I, or I will just go off the edge. So I, I just can't do it. Sometimes I'm not confident enough on this track. And most of the time... I'm too confident. Like there, for example, I almost lost it. But I got, I regained it. I regained the control. 
I am the man. The man of power. The man of control, perseverance, skill. The man that can't bloody drive, apparently. I got that one right. This is my favorite part, because I don't really have to try. <laughs> this is a nice straight road, so I can actually give you some sound from the back a little bit. There you go. Back, back shot. No, we're topping out. We're topping out. We're almost topped out anyway. I hope we can actually adjust this hood a little bit as well. I'm not a massive fan of exactly how it's lined up right now. Maybe I could change it a little bit. That would be magical. Thanks, babe. Coming up to the finish. Need to be in second gear for this, apparently. Wow. Second gear. I could have done that in fifth. <laughs> All right. First gear. Nice turn there. And full thoughts. stuff it. I don't care. Just go, go. Go for it. Go on it. Go on it. Go on it. Boom. I'm not trying. That's me done, Norch Lifer, for, to, for now. I'll come back later. 8 minutes 11. That's probably not very good, but boom. We completed, we completed the daily workout. Let's see. Let's, let's back away and see how I did compared to my friends. Last place again. Can you believe it? Daily workout completed. You received a gift card. Oh, it's you, is it? All right. Well, I was expecting something a bit different. For example, a car that... I don't really have yet. But no, we got we got that one. All right. I mean, I guess that's okay. Can we use it in this event right here? Oh, we can. So I wonder... I mean, honestly, it's going to be the same either way. Which is why I was kind of wanting something a little bit different. But there you go. Uh, that's the qualifiers done. Again, I'm going to do a proper series on this and actually trying and playing... Like making a video that's very different to what I normally make. And I, I, it's going to be an experimental series. I'm going to try different things... And I want you guys' input on it when it actually comes out. If you guys want to see that, again, smash a like. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of GT Sport. I'm loving it. I can't wait to actually play it properly tonight, hopefully. I'm probably going to give it a quick go and see how I do. But yeah, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.